Hey, it's Danny. It's great to be back here again today. It is a beautiful day out today. Temperature is 75 degrees. The breeze is blowing. Kind of reminds me of the verse in the book of uh, Psalms, uh, chapter 118, verse 24, which says, This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And it, it makes me wonder if the psalmist was out on a day like today and just wrote that down. But then could it be also he wrote it not as a rejoicing, but to remind himself it needed to rejoice because it was a day that didn't feel like it was a day that the Lord had made. And it was going to be hard to rejoice in it. So maybe, maybe he wrote that to remind himself. Because today's lesson kind of revolves around something like that. You see, I'm at the hospital over here. I'm at the wellness center. Because our lesson today has to do with a couple people who would have a hard time saying that. One is uh, uh, Jairus, uh, and uh, his child was dying, and ultimately she did die. And then another story of a lady who had a problem with bleeding, but the bleeding didn't go on for a, a day or two or three. It went on for like two years or three years or five years or 12. Those were hard days to rejoice. But you know what? The God who created these days knows the difficulties and the things that we go through. So let's go and we'll look at our lesson. Right after, we have uh, Zach Dalton who's going to sing, and you can sing along with him, and then after be Kathy Wilson that's going to put together that, those two stories for us today. We'll see you at the end. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing good today. children's choir and puppets and different things and I'm so excited to get to teach you the Bible lesson today 
I hope you're having a great time and a great summer. We've had some wonderful warm weather. You can get out and play in the water and uh, ride your bikes. And uh, you can uh, rollerblade and jump on your trampolines. Just have a good time. Okay. Our scripture today is Mark 5, 21 to 43. And Jesus heals a woman and a girl. Jesus was on a boat, and I have a boat here. It's probably not like what he wrote, but it's what I got. And he got on a boat, and he rode across the sea, and he got off of the boat. And when he got off the boat, there was people everywhere. It was very crowded. So a man named Jarius, who was a synagogue leader or a church leader, there were synagogue is kind of like our churches, and he looked for Jesus, and he went to him, and he begged him, and he fell at Jesus' feet, and he said, he said in verse 30, he said, I'm sorry, verse 23, Jarius is his name, and he begged Jesus earnestly, my little daughter is dying. Come and lay your hands on her so that she can get well and live again and live. So Jesus went with him, and on his way, Someone touched him. Someone touched the hem of his garment. Now, it was crowded. There were people everywhere. And people were in a crowd. You get, you know, you might bump shoulders or something. Or your arm might accidentally hit someone. But this was different. He felt the power coming from him. He felt something. And he turned around and he said, touch me. And the woman bowed down at her feet and said, Jesus, it was me. I have been very sick. I went to doctors everywhere. I spent all my money. The gauze didn't help. The band-aids didn't help. The ointments didn't help. None of it's helping me. For 12 years, I have been so sick, and people don't want to get near me. They're afraid that I might be contagious or I might... It, something might happen to them. So Jesus said, Jesus said, your faith has made you well. And go ahead and go in peace. It's okay. So in the meantime, Jairus' friends from his home came and said, never mind, Jairus. Your daughter's dead. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? But you know what Jesus said? And I want to read it straight from here because it's so neat in verse 30. One, one, one verse 30, um, three. The woman with fear and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. Then he said, daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be healed. While he was still speaking, the people came from the synagogue leader Jairus' house and said, your daughter's dead. Why bother the teacher anymore? Just don't bother him. When Jesus heard them say this, he said, don't be afraid, only believe. Isn't that neat? He tells us not to be afraid, but to trust in him through everything we go through. So Jesus went on to Jairus' daughter's house. He took three disciples with him, Peter, James, and John. They were his close friends, and they went to the home. And when they got there, there was people everywhere around, and they were weeping and wailing and crying and making loud noises. It was just so bad. They were just crying and just really, really loud. And Jesus said, it's okay. She's going to be okay. She's dead. It, no, she's going to be good. So Jesus takes himself, the daddy, the mama, and his three disciples to the daughter. And when he gets in there, he says this, and I'm going to read this from verse 41 of Mark chapter 5. Then he took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitha Kuhn, which is translated, little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately she got up. Just like the woman who touched his garment. Immediately when she had the faith and touched his garment, she was healed. And now, little girl touched his hand. 
because he touched her hand. And immediately, she was healed. And she got up and walked. And Jesus told them there, who was there, Jesus, mom, dad, and the three disciples. He told them, she's hungry. Get her something to eat. So maybe she had an egg. Maybe she had some juice. Or maybe she had some water because she's probably thirsty. But she was healed. Jesus is the Messiah, the Savior. And I hope that you will uh, trust in him. And I hope that you have a great week. And I hope to see you at the drive-in church Sunday or at the Contemporary Oasis at 11. And you have a great week. Bye-bye. So thank you to Kathy and uh, to Zach for helping us put our lesson together today. I, I still look forward to, to seeing you not driving by in the car, uh, but uh, this week is still going to be in the drive-in uh, worship. Uh, and uh, But the contemporary service is open if you want to come into the building and, uh, and be a part of that. But starting on Father's Day, both services will be back at their normal times and in their normal places. So uh, the uh, traditional service is going to be back in the sanctuary at 9 o'clock. Uh, and still, uh, if you're not comfortable coming into the building or your family isn't comfortable, uh, you can listen to the, uh, the sermon on the radio outside in the parking lot somewhere close to the building where you can pick up our signal. So uh, we, we look forward to, to seeing you. I hope all that is going well. Uh, things are close. Uh, are, are getting closer to getting back to normal and I know we all look forward to that day but for right now take care God bless you have a good day